Welcome to this video showing the Making Tax Digital for VAT functionality in Business Central. This video is specifically suitable for users using the web client. If you're using Dynamics Nav or the desktop client with Business Central, then please refer to our other video that's suitable for that interface. We have an unlisted video that gives more detail for those interfaces and the link for this is available from your account manager. To support these videos, we have a detailed booklet that's available for free from your account manager that will support you through all the setup and detailed use of this process. Please ask your account manager for that booklet. So the new functionality within the system, if I navigate using the, the search to tell me and find the service connections page, on here we see I have HMRC VAT Sandbox Setup Service Connection. Now if I click to open this up to see the setup, there are a number of important points on this page. Now this system is set up to use the test version of the service URL at the moment in your live system. Your service URL should look something like this, API service hmrc.gov.uk. Uh, but I want to fully test this with test credentials given by HMRC, so I need to use the test version. Just be aware that your live version won't include this part of the URL. Okay, we basically need to authenticate this service connection with HMRC, and we do that using our government gateway credentials. So we have to request an authorization code, fill it in here, and then this connection will be able to do the main work with HMRC, pulling down our VAT obligations to help us create a VAT return period and handle the annual submission. So to do this, I go to process and I request authorization code. A web page opens up which is basically explaining what I'm about to do, which is grant this program authority to talk to HMRC on my behalf using my credentials. I need to say continue and then give it my government gateway credentials. So with these in place I click sign in and I need to officially grant authority. This is what I need to use to authorize the program so I need to take a copy of this and then minimize it for now. Go back in the application on the page of the service connection. I simply paste that in. It should confirm success. It will then offer me the chance to check on the company information page if we have the correct VAT reg number in for this business. So I'll say yes. Just check what number I've got in place. This must match exactly to what HMRC have on their records. I close and I close again. We now should see green enabled on that service connection. So that's all set up and ready. Now the new pages, if I use tell me and I go to the VAT return periods page, This will be blank initially. This is where my VAT obligations, HMRC, can be pulled down and turned into a VAT return period. So to do this, I go to Process, get VAT return periods, give it the appropriate date range I wish to work with, and say OK. It should then confirm success and let me know how many new or modified periods it's pulled down. Ignore the fact this is working in 2017. This is HMRC's demo account. Okay, so here we have one VAT return period for the first quarter, which is closed, so I've completed all submissions required for that. And I have an open VAT return period here, the second quarter from the 1st of April with the due dates and its current state of open. From this line, I can generate my VAT return. If I go to process and create that return. It confirms success using the number series 
and if I say yes to open it I'll go direct to that return card I don't want to just yet I'll say no and now I can see on the line I've got information the VAT return number and its status I can click to go directly to that VAT return card to continue the process if I just close this you can also navigate directly to the VAT returns list page now a return exists and I can access that card page from this list of all VAT returns. Click its number, it will open up the card page. Now when I'm ready to proceed with my actual return, the process would be to hit process and suggest lines. However, before doing this, I need to have continued with the previous process, the previous standard process in NAV and Business Central, which is that I need to have gone to The relevant VAT statement and on my VAT statement I need to have gone to process and preview and run it as a preview for this period. I run the preview, I get the figures back for the nine boxes and I need to then do my usual cross-reference checks to the relevant GL accounts and also the daybook for VAT entries to check I'm happy with these figures before I proceed any further. Then, once I'm happy and it's time to do the actual VAT return, on my VAT return card, I suggest lines. Here, I need to stay with the standard, standard options of open VAT entries and always use before and within period to determine what I pull through. I'll need to make sure I'm using the right template and the right VAT statement template and VAT statement name. So I just select those. The period, year, type and number are all determined by the VAT return period that I've drawn this VAT, VAT return from. So I won't be able to change those. If I hit show more, it just shows me the start and end date for this period. In this case, the quarter. Once I'm ready, say OK and it will then populate the nine lines for me, which represent the nine box values that will go on my submission to HMRC. At this point, my VAT return is still open. But I can release this, and should I wish to proceed, I can click Submit. Only do this after doing all your checks. It gives me a warning. You cannot undo if you proceed past this point. This is your submission. I say yes to continue, but then this process will time out here because this is just a test account, not a real account. Once I have submitted this, this VAT return for this period, I should then proceed to calculate and post my VAT settlement. This is grayed out at the moment. But when I successfully submitted, I need to go and calc and post to close all the VAT entries in the background. The submit process does not close my VAT entries in the background. There are other options. I can download messages that I may have exchanged with HMRC. Should I wish to at any point prior to submission, I could reopen and rerun the suggest lines process. There are two other pages that are worth a very quick look. Um, beyond the submission, there is a there's a VAT liabilities list page, which will show my outstanding amounts and their due dates. And there is also a VAT payments list page, where I can review payments that I have made. If you require more information about this process and you're one of our customers, please contact your account manager to get a copy of our detailed booklet that goes through everything you would need to know. Thank you for watching.